So, from one of the worst DLCs, in my opinion, the Class 415, to one of the best. This is the Class 47. Steam is £3, and it's about it on sale. It's one of the cheapest DLCs you can possibly buy for the game, but is it worth it? Well, it comes with two different deliveries. This one on the right here, the one straight in front of us, is the original Network Southeast. This one over here is revised. It is publicised as Network Southeast Class 37, and it's indisputable. It really is, you know. But that said, what a beautiful looking model. You know, it's got the shine to it. It's not overly detailed, it's not, you know, once you start going in you see that it loses a lot of these the circles and stuff like that, but it's a very, very well designed engine. So, it says, <laughs> and it's to say, I just, I just just play around with it, I found quite amusing. You will read that all members of the class are represented, and to an extent that's true, but let's have a little look at that. Now, as with quite a few other uh, engines, the way of changing the number on this, and this is quite amusing, is you double click it, right hand side here, you can change the number. However, you don't actually need to let that number start with 47. So quite easily we could have a class 57. Quite easily we could have a, for, what it, for all it matters, we could turn it into an 03. <laughs> so yeah, you know, yes, you, <laughs> All members of the class are represented on the basis that you can actually make that five digit number whatever you like there is absolutely no, no restriction at all that to me is not a problem I actually quite like that you know that's fine right so let's get rid of these two and then I'll show you a little hidden feature of this DLC that it does not tell you about because on the Steam page we'll actually go and look at it really quickly now we'll scroll down and we'll see the key features. Key features, Network Southeast Class 47 add-on includes Class 47 Locomotive Original Network Southeast and a revised Network Southeast livery. And when I first downloaded this, I looked at the top here and I was thinking, well, I wonder where they got those carriages from. Because every single picture has distinctly got pictures of Mark 1 Network Southeast carriages. Well, that's quite interesting. Now what first confused me when I went on to this was I went on to Consists and I was expecting it to come with something like some hoppers or just something obscure like that. Forget a lot of these 47s. I'm actually using Doncaster maps, so you'll see it's scattered around with the with, uh, 47 stuff anyway. And I went under Consists and I found the network southeast and I saw plus eight coaches. I thought, strange, okay. Then I placed it and I realized that it does indeed come with some very, very nice Mark II network southeast carriages. I was looking and I thought, why isn't that, that actually listed in the key features? Every other DLC, if it comes with carriages, it tells you about it. So after that I went into the carriages here and I had a look and it comes with three. It comes with the first class, which is the, uh, again, you know, Network Southeast first Mark II. It comes with the uh, Mark II Guard, Network Southeast. And to be fair, out of the guard ones I've seen, it's actually a reasonably designed one. I even quite like they've got the slight weathering at the top, you know, so it really matches the engine quite nicely. And it also, if I can find it very quickly, where are we here? So we've done that, that, this one here, the second. So I know that's a weird consist. But yeah, so I mean, effectively, it comes with three really nicely designed Network Southeast carriages as well, which. Network Southeast carriages are not easy to find in terms of train simulator, and this should be one of the big selling points of this DLC. So yeah, I mean, what do you get with this DLC? Well, effectively, if I just get rid of that train there, this is what you get. You get three different Network Southeast carriages. You get, so I'll jump onto the Loco one, uh, you get the Class 47 in original livery, and you also get the Class 47 in revised. That's five items for three pounds. Now, for Train Simulator, that is an absolute bargain. And, arguably, yeah. Uh, what I had a problem with with the last DLC, the, the Class 415, is the only game with Network Southeast livery. And this one 
is a quarter of the price, and that's why it really doesn't it doesn't bother me at all. I think this is an absolute bargain for the price. So, anyway, you've seen how you use it. You double click that, you can change the number. Um, even with the carriages, you, know, you can change the number of the carriages here. I mean, it's it's that good. It's six six six. It'll be on there somewhere. But anyway, yeah. So that's basically the gist of the uh, of the DLC. So we'll go go and do the quick summary. So what do we have? We have one of the classic diesels, the Class 47, in their works out piece livery, very, very nicely designed, beautiful, absolutely beautiful coaches as well for three pounds. And honestly, it's, I think in terms of DLC for train simulator and how expensive it can be, this, this really should be one of the absolute must-haves on your list, especially if you uh, if you're a Network Southeast fan, this should be the first thing you ever buy. Anyway guys, hope that helped, and I'll see you for the next one.